Hey, Malcolm. We're gonna go for a walk, buddy? Hey, Malcolm. What's up, buddy? You gonna go for a walk? Yes? Let's go. Hey guys, what's going on? Guys, I'm Mexican here, and I wanted to do a little vlog outside and take Malcolm out for a walk because he needed one anyways. Um, he's been really restless, and since it's a really, really nice day out, I wanted to get outside with him. There he is right there. Malcolm, slow down so they can see you. There you are. But he's been really, really restless and hasn't really gotten out much, so definitely wanted to get him outside and um, get him some exercise. But I figured as well I could show you guys um, some of the area that I'm in now. As, uh, some of you guys might know, me and Renee moved to a different location. We're no longer in our previous apartment um, because our lease ran out. So um, we moved to a different apartment for now before we moved to San Francisco, which will be pretty soon. Um, but I figured I'd show you guys some of the area since it's such a nice day out. Um, I'm not obviously showing you the exact location of where we live, but I um, figured I'd show you a little bit of what it looks like. It's a really nice day out, and actually, if you give me a moment here and we speed up walking, there is an area up here where you can see the mountains that are just down the road over here. Um, give me a moment. We're walking there. Malcolm. What the f- <laughs> Malcolm got a branch. <laughs> where did you get that? We just walked past a pine tree and he had a huge ass branch. <laughs> that is stupid. Anyways, just over here, you can see um, the mountains. Hopefully, if uh, we're, we're tall enough, oh yeah, you can see them a little bit there. We're kind of standing in the middle of the road, so I'm not going to be here that long. But if you look down there, you can see the mountains all the way down there. On a really clear day, you can see uh, really, really high up into the mountains. Um, you can see the, the snow peaks and stuff like that. But, yeah. Um, I asked for some of you guys to tweet some questions at me. It's not exactly like a Message Monday thing. I'm not going to answer all of them or even a bunch of them. But um, <clears throat> I might take a seat up ahead and um, answer some of you guys' questions. Or maybe I'll just sit on our deck um, at our apartment. I don't know. Probably better to just answer them out on the deck. I think I might just do that. But, um, yeah. So uh, give me a moment and I will answer your questions. And we're back. And we're outside on my deck right now. Renee is actually live streaming right inside. So if you hear her... That's what's going on, but I have my lab mic on trying to prevent you guys hearing a bunch of noise from inside. And I'm going to answer some of you guys' questions off Twitter. Just going to, no particular order. I'm just going to go through and try to rapid fire these. I have my phone right here. Um, let's see. Charlie Barnes. I can't see your full, your full username on Twitter because it's cut off. But anyways, they say, how do you feel about the new Xbox One voice commands and snap screen? Um, as many of you guys know, the Xbox uh, reveal press conference was today and uh, they revealed that it was the Xbox One. I saw it this morning with uh, Chilled, Etoric, and, um, and Diction and myself and Renee. Uh, we were all on a Skype call and we were watching it. But how do I feel about the voice commands and uh, snap screen stuff? It's kind of cool. It's neat. Um, it, here's, here's my thing about the Xbox reveal thing. Um, this isn't exactly what you're, it'll kind of encompass your question a little bit, but um, it's, they were revealing the new Xbox, which I get, and the main thing to take away from that is to see the specs, see the controller, see how it looks, and just, you know, get some information about it. But you, with that as well, like, they didn't really show that many games. Like, I understand E3 is coming around the corner, and I'm going to be at E3, so I'm excited for that. But when you release your, your, your new console, you know, you want to at least have some pretty cool games to show off. They pretty much just showed off all sports games, um, which didn't make a lot of sense. I understand there's a lot... Of um, there's a lot of interest in sports games, but um, to people that have been following, you know, and buying consoles from Microsoft year after year, it seems a little bit. Um, I don't want to say slap in the face because it's a little too harsh, but it seems like a little bit. Um, it's a little bit of a careless mistake to not, not um, reveal some other like actual game games. And when I say game games, I mean games that are more. I don't know how to describe it, not sports games, just like for hard, more hardcore gamers. And I understand that hardcore gamers may not necessarily be the demographic that uh, is, is what, that, that are what, um, that, does that even make sense grammatically? The, the demographic that Microsoft is looking for. So, um, but as far as the, the, the features they did show off, like the, uh, the voice commands, that was already existing, but it seems like it's a little more, it's a little more uh, 
responsive, it's a little more faster. Um, it seems like the voice recognition on it's a little bit better. Um, but that existed with the 360 using Connect and stuff like that. So it's nothing too new. The snap feature when you're using, when you're like watching TV and stuff like that, I might do that. I, I don't, I'm not currently like a Comcast subscriber. I don't have any cable or anything like that. But um, if I did, I wouldn't mind using it through my Xbox. It's pretty cool. Everything they showed off there seemed pretty cool. So um, I think it's neat. I think I'm looking forward to E3 to see actual games and like, you know, gameplay of different stuff coming out. I understand that they're not going to show everything there because uh, it's just mainly to show off the Xbox and E3 is around the corner. So that's kind of where I'm standing as far as the Xbox One right now. I'm going to reserve my judgment. It's not that great of a name either, but whatever. I don't really care what it's called or even really what it looks like. I just care what it does. Um, it seems like a big console, like it's, it's big, it's huge. It looks like a big like VCR. So maybe that's just kind of an optical illusion on how it looks on stage and camera and stuff like that, but it seems quite big. So I don't know, whatever. That's my stance on the Xbox one. And let's, uh, let's find another question. Pim underscore Brower asks, is there a specific country in the world you still want to travel to? Um, there's a lot of countries in the world that I still want to travel to. I haven't really gone to a lot of different countries. I've been to Mexico, uh, I've been to Puerto Rico, I've been to, um, where else have I been? I haven't been to Canada. I want to go to Canada. There's a lot of, there's some friends of mine, there's a lot of people up in Canada um, that I want to meet and I also just want to see Canada. I want to have Tim Hortons. I always hear people talking about Tim Hortons and how it's the greatest thing in the world. Um, so I, I want to put that to the test and see if it actually is as good as people say because everybody says Tim Hortons coffee is amazing and it's kind of hard to think of how it can be that amazing. I don't know. I definitely want to try it. That's the place I want to go. I really just want to go somewhere in Europe. It doesn't even really matter what country. Uh, I just want to go to Europe. I think that'd be really cool. Get to meet a lot of you European fans in there and do like a meetup and stuff. Same thing with Canada. I know there's, we, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of people that are subscribed to me and just YouTubers in general that watch from Canada. So I think it'd be interesting. That'd be one of the better parts of, of visiting a different country um, would be to meet the fans and stuff and just kind of experience the culture and the differences. I have spoke on it a little bit, but definitely someplace in Europe. Doesn't really matter where. Uh, I wouldn't mind Germany. I wouldn't mind um, anywhere around there. <laughs> really, I'm not picky. I just want to eventually go to Europe. Go to the Europe, because that's how it's said, apparently. No, but me and Renee both want to go to Europe. And eventually, I'm sure we'll end up somewhere there, do a trip out there. But uh, yeah. That's, uh, I don't really have a specific country. Jeffrey Yan or Jeff, 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 Jeff on Twitter uh, asked, any game that you were seriously obsessed with? Um, yeah, there's two right off the bat that I can recall. I guess I'll just speak on those two. First one is Halo 2. Uh, that came before the other one that I was going to mention. But Halo 2, I was seriously obsessed with that. I'm talking like messing with my school. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that. Uh, but messing with my schoolwork, um, grades were were not as good as they could have been. They wouldn't, they weren't bad, but like things that I could have had A's in, I was getting B's and stuff like that. I just wasn't studying as much or whatever. But um, in high school, it doesn't matter that much. It's not super hard in high school. But um, Halo 2, the multiplayer on that, that was like the first game that came out that was like super crazy addictive. It kind of, uh, kind of revolutionized the way matchmaking is today on consoles anyways. Um, and it was just super crazy addictive and there were so many things to do all the different custom lobbies you could do um, the custom game types there were different uh, glitch game types that people would make just to do glitches and find glitches and just have fun doing glitches um, that's actually how I started doing videos in the first place I would make glitch videos and the way I recorded it was using a DVD recorder and hooking up my Xbox to my DVD recorder so it was kind of digital sort of I would literally record on the DVD and then rip it off the DVD onto my computer and then have to like do a bunch of different conversions and stuff like that in order to make it work in my editor. But yeah, that was back when I really didn't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> but Halo 2 was probably the first game that was really addictive to me like that. Second game was GTA 4. That game was crazy addictive. When I realized the scope of it and just all the cool stuff you could do in free mode, unfortunately, I mean, everybody knows there were, there was no um, airplanes or anything like that, which kind of was disappointing and no parachuting off the beginning. But uh, that was a game that I cracked down a lot. And I'm probably, this is a fair warning too, so you guys wondering, and I've, I've gotten a lot of questions from people asking me if I'm gonna be doing GTA 5 gameplay and stuff like that. Absolutely. Um, probably won't do a playthrough of it. Maybe I will, I don't know. It depends on what Rockstar's kind of stance is there because they've been a little bit um, of sticklers as far as using their cutscenes and things like that. So um, I don't know if I'll actually do a let's play of like the actual story you guaranteed to see some free mode just shenanigans and stuff like that for me um, I might lose myself to that game a little bit um, I might go dark 
you might see less videos. No, I'll, I'll try to keep it under control, but GTA 4 was a game where I just played free mode over and over and over again, and I actually got really good at it. Um, I got, um, what I would do is I'd get into a car and just kind of, I wouldn't provoke anyone, I would just drive around knowing that most people that see a car drive by, especially if you're in a nice car, which I usually was, the Turismo was my favorite one, and um, I would drive around and then uh, when people would uh, see me drive by, I'd provoke them. Well, I wouldn't provoke them, but they would start shooting at me. I would never shoot first. They'd, they'd shoot at me first and then try to like hunt me down, and then I would just turn around and just shoot them. I got so good where I could just like kind of spin around and just pop them right in the face through my car and then just keep driving. But yeah, that was a game that I, uh, I really, really cracked out on. Really looking forward to GTA 5. So to those of you guys that keep asking me, will I play GTA 5? Am I getting GTA 5? Yes, I am. So that's that. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do. I just wanted to answer a couple questions. Like I said, this isn't like a message Monday thing, but uh, I wanted to get outside. I wanted to give the dog who's laying right over there. I'm not going to turn the camera because it's on a tripod right now. I wanted to give him some exercise. And also, it's a really nice day out, so I figured I'd record some stuff outside. Hope you guys liked the video, and uh, I will see you later. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.